<laughs> hey guys, Emo Tempest here, and I wanted to come talk to you about the tournament we went to this weekend. Uh, we went to Winter Park, uh, Florida, which is really close to Orlando. Um, it's pretty much next to Orlando. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was definitely fun. Um, had a blast. I saw some uh, a lot of my friends from uh, Tampa that we met at the Petit Cup last time. And I did pretty good. I went 4-1 uh, in Swiss, and I made so I made top 8 on my own this time. Um, and I lost first round in uh, top 8. But um, yeah, I'll tell you about the matchups. I want to tell you about the matchups, and I want to tell you about the deck. Uh, I also want to tell you about the change that I made. Um, so, because uh, I remember last time I left you guys, and I was playing uh, Mumbas and uh, Lich and some other stuff. And uh, there was a, Sephiroth, a Dark Sephiroth in there. But that's definitely not what I took. Um... I did end up taking the Mumbas, but I, I regret it very much. Um, I'm sure I could have fit in uh, another Celeste or another Genesis, but I didn't even get those cards. Uh, I didn't I didn't have time to get those cards, like to order them or anything like that, and I definitely didn't have time. I No one had any extras to trade at the moment, so and I didn't want to switch my deck last minute, so I just I kind of took it with what I had. Um, uh, but yeah, so definitely going into the tournament itself, uh, round one was against Earth Ice. Um, it was definitely fun because uh, I was used to playing kind of mirror matches, the ice mirror match with Warsaw, but because um, he took, he ended up taking uh, lightning ice, which was very good. Uh, his deck was very awesome. He didn't, he didn't, he wasn't confident in it, but he did really good. He also made top eight. But Earth Ice, um, I think what ended up um, doing the uh, changing the match in my favor was uh, Renoa. He was playing the Earth Ice uh, category sixes, so he had uh, Dataluma, Terra. And, um, what's his name? Oh, Locke. And, you know, just this kind of the similar similar cards that I did. But um, what ended up winning it for me, honestly, was Renoa and uh, the Mecha Chocobos. Um, it, I was able to uh, pop it with <laughs> with Feral Chaos, like I said. And then uh, at the end, all that Renoa was there standing and he couldn't, he didn't have an answer. He had already wasted all his Shivas and stuff like that. So um, I ended up taking first round. Uh, second round was kind of annoying at first it was against water wind uh it w i want to say it was a regular water wind like i don't know if it was Riku pain because i didn't see the yuna or the riku or the pain but it was playing garnet and beatrix uh so i know it wasn't standard units but um i didn't draw any backups at all so i was only i the only the only backup i drew actually i lied was jill nabot and i didn't want to play it right away so i was pretty much pitching two or three cards for my forwards but because it was setzer and because it was lock and then eventually it was um, Renoa as well. I was able to, you know, kind of keep him frozen and keep him stalled out. Like, um, but then again, he didn't really draw much either. He was he was putting pressure. I did um, the two cards that kind of won it for me in this one was definitely um, Canyoneer. I Canyoneered really early. Like I did, I opened into the Jill, and I played that like maybe turn two to freeze his two forwards, the Garnet. Or and the Beatrix after, and then I did. I drew into Canyoneer eventually, and I was like, I don't have a choice. I have to play this one backup, this other one backup I got. So I kept him frozen for like two to three turns. I got in two points of damage every time between uh, Setzer and Lock, and then let me see. Oh, and then eventually I just Zodiarked him at the end. Like I, but I paid seven, like full seven cost on the Zodiarch. Yeah, it was bad. Um, Honestly, it was just because I had answers to his forwards. It was it would not have been the ideal situation for me, like the way uh, the game played out. I would you know I mentioned it before. I want to build the build the supports and you know make sure I have enough to pay these things. But I literally pitched three cards and then tapped my the one Jill for the Zodiac, and um, he eventually uh, had a Zobluroid, and then I just doled that too. But anyway. It was fun. I, I took him. Uh, I got the win. So I was 2-0 at this point. Uh, round three was kind of an, was another annoying round. Um, it was against Water Lightning, and uh, I don't know. It was Water Lightning Knights, so uh, Ramza and Steiner and Beatrix and stuff like that. I drew great, and I don't know what happened. The game just got away from me. I guess I, I took too long to to push for points, and then um, I don't know. I, I ended up also I overplay. I overextended on a hand, and I got. I got Leviathan and Fanfreded at the same time, I think. So it was just, I minus, it was bad. I was I put myself in a bad situation. but So I lost round three against Water Lightning. Uh, Water Wind, round four, definitely standard units. I was on stream for that. 
which is super fun. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for to the Bearded Collectibles stream. Um, you guys will see it there. You guys can watch my the two stream matches I had. My my fourth round match and my top eight match was on stream. So um, if you want to see a little bit more on how I played the deck or how the deck works, uh, please check that out. Um, thanks Bearded Collectibles for you know streaming it and saving it. Uh, if you're ever in Windsor Park, check them out, guys. Uh, but yeah, he was. That was definitely a good match. Um, he had two knights and ranger on board, and I couldn't get over his 10ks, um, and so I ended up having a zodiac that one. And then eventually, uh, what won me the game was dropping Renoa on like one of the, on second before last turn. He didn't attack because he knew if he attacked, I would block with Renoa. He didn't have a Leviathan, which was wonderful, but. Um, Renoa kind of just kept him away from me from attacking and then I summoned Feral Chaos on the next turn sent Renoa to the grave uh, to the break zone and he he didn't have anything he just like oh nope <laughs> so I'm really I'm really thankful for that play like I told you guys like I mentioned before that play is really I, I definitely sent Setzer that game and I definitely send uh, Renoa uh, more than once in the tournament this weekend and it really catches people off guard because they don't expect it and it also helps a lot Especially if you have like an extra, like if you haven't played your Jill Nabot or, you know, you see you have Celes in your hand. It's just, you can freeze and just keep them away from you. It's super great. Um, and my fifth round for Swiss was against Water Earth. Um, I had played him in Tampa. Uh, honestly, he beat me twice in Tampa. He beat me in Swiss last last time. And he's the one that knocked me out of top eight. So it was nice to get a, a win, a rematch, and uh, definitely win this one. Um, again, Zodiac played a big role in this in this one. Um, he had Cecil and Beatrix and, uh, I don't remember what else, but he, he pretty much left a big board and he had a, he had a really big, uh, play where he summoned Raban and then he did Hecaton, Hecaton Shear on the Raban, so to kind of like kill two of my forwards, but I was able to remove my forward, or no, remove his forward from the Hec the one he Hecatonked before, um, and so he, I was kind of like, I kind of made a minus. He did a big play and he minus on that one. But, and I was able to, you know, take the win from there. So, yeah. So I ended up 4-1. Uh, and my final round, my final match, it was in top eight against another, uh, against a mono lightning, uh, mono ice, I'm sorry. And honestly, I lost, I got 2 owed. It was terrible. Um, He was playing, I guess, a, a regular uh, mono ice build with uh, Laguna, well, the old regular mono ice build. With uh, the eight engine, he's playing Laguna, Squan, Renoa, and just those. They were all at 10k, and I realize now that that's a big problem that my deck has is dealing with big bodies. Like I had nothing. I had to I had to overextend once for just to knock down the Squall, or no, get rid of the Laguna, so I can bring back the Squall to 7k. Um, I had to use Terra and my Black Mage, and then have Terra's ability uh, ping for two more thousand. Uh, you know, exhaust, uh, tap two to ping two, and that got to 10k, but that, I can only do that so many times, and um, yeah, I just couldn't get over the, the, the big bodies, and every time I did get a point of damage in, it was always the EX per Shiva, and because he's always discarding all his, his cards, I was, he had several Shivas in the grave, and <laughs> there was nothing I can do. Again, that match is also there. You guys can kind of see um, how hopeless that is. Uh, for me, really, but uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, the tournament was fun. Um, Sam Prime won it again, and I have the interview with that. If you haven't seen it already, I'll leave the link at the end of the video, so you can check that out. But um, now, I guess I'm going to go into pretty much the only real changes I made to the deck. I'm going to leave the original deck in the description below, so you guys can go back to it and reference it and see what I'm talking about. But I ended up taking out the Lich and the Sephiroth, and I believe I had a ghoul at the time. I definitely took out the ghoul. And I had got my hands on two Zaliras in time for the tournament. The reason I was playing Lich and the Mumbas before was because I didn't own the Zaliras. And now that I got some, I got them in time. I definitely played it. And honestly, Zalira helped out a lot. In uh, I think it was the Water Earth matchup. That's what it was that helped me get rid of his forward. Um, because he ended up swinging with two. And then I was able to destroy it. They were, definitely Zalira is great against all the water matchups. Um, they usually uh, play a lot of threes, um, you know, Beatrix, Garnet, uh, Ash, Bart's, uh, Pain, 
uh, all of that. Zalira just says goodbye to all that stuff. Even Knight uh, and Lena, all of it. <laughs> um, I know I Zalira uh, several times that that tournament as well, and yeah, that's I know there was actually a lot of ice decks, ice variants. Uh, there was like I said, Earth Ice, Mono Ice. There was a lot of uh, Ice Lightning. I think there was Ice uh, Ice Fire. I don't know if they saw it, but it was. I think it was around there. But I ended up fighting the four water players, like the four water variants, which was funny. But um, either way, uh, the Zillers helped out again a lot. And they helped out in every match except uh, my top eight match because Laguna and Squall are, are four cost. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, the tournament was definitely very fun. Um, those are the big changes I did. I ended, I ended up adding another Setzer instead of the Sephiroth. Um, I was looking for the Genesis or Celeste at the time, and yeah, I just couldn't get it in time, like I said. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about is Celeste. Celeste did, um, a lot of people overlook this, her effect, really. It says, uh, when she comes onto the field, um, you can freeze one character your opponent controls. Now, this includes forwards, backups, and monsters. So, going forward... Uh, a big play. They were doing it to me because I, I, they did it to me in uh, round one or Earth Ice, and it happened to me. They were freezing. He was summoning Celeste, but he froze my Devout, so I couldn't use the Devout to make bigger plays. And um, it, honestly, I learned as the game as the day went on that that's such a great thing to do. Like, um, I, if you if you ran into anybody who played Chaos or anything like that or the or Cosmos, you could freeze those, and they wouldn't be able to get their color their colors they needed that turn or devout or anything like that really and man that's such a good thing to do sometimes yeah freezing forwards is great keeping them off of you you know just so you can keep getting points of damage in there but sometimes um a good offensive play as well to reduce their their amount of cp they can uh they're relying on per turn and yeah that that i, le I definitely learned something important that i want to bump celeste to three um i will Definitely gonna do that. Uh, once I get the third Genesis, I might also bump that to three. Uh, I think Setzer was good at three, but um, ultimately he'll probably go back to two. I think. Um, but yeah, guys, that was it. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Um, I will catch you next time. I do have a lot of content to share with you guys, and I will be posting that um, throughout the next this week and maybe next week. So stay tuned, stick around, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.